Vikings is the newest land to open at Drayton Manor Resort, a Scandinavian smorgasbord of new and rethemed attractions steeped in Norse mythology. But have the gods delivered the goods, or is Loki up to his old tricks? I'm Paul from Luke Theme Park Adventures, and these are my first impressions of Vikings at Drayton Manor. The 28th of May saw the opening of Drayton Manor's brand new Vikings themed area. Dubbed a whole new land of discovery by the park which features four attractions, a new food outlet and a pleasant little decking area next to the lake which provides nice views of Adventure Cove. This new land has been presented really nicely with wooden fencing surrounding the area and its attractions, a nice open feel and a little throne area as a centerpiece. It's as if you've stumbled into an old Viking camp just one with modern flat ride technology, which we'll just put down to Asgardian magic or something. Speaking of Asgardian magic, if you deem us worthy, then leaving a like would be fantastic and smash that subscribe button with Mahilnir for loads of electric theme park content. There are four attractions on offer here. New to the resort, we have Thor, a Zamperla Mega Disco, an incredibly unique attraction that you won't find, find anywhere, anywhere else, else in the UK. UK. You know what? I always dig at British parks when discos are announced because there are about 276 of them in operation now. But they're always fun, particularly the mega disco model, and when presented well, do offer a certain visual flair, and they seem to be popular with guests, so I completely understand why they're such an attractive proposition for theme parks, and I always ride them, so I can't really say anything. That being said, the other flat ride, the brother attraction to Thor, if you will, is a genuinely new experience for the UK. Loki is a Zamperla nebulous and is both stunning and trippy to watch in operation, almost as if it's an illusion projection from the god of mischief himself. It's also really fun to ride, providing some nice floater airtime combined with a surprisingly effective head chopper effect. A fantastic addition, the standout attraction in the area in my opinion, and comfortably a top 5 UK flat ride. This is a Zamperla model that I really would like to see more of. Elsewhere in Vikings, the Buffalo roller coaster has been eloquently renamed to Jormungandr or something to that effect, complete with a total retheme of the station and train. And younger guests can also take a ride on the area's fourth and final attraction, Sleepnir, which is a single rail horse ride. Valhalla is Vikings' dedicated food outlet and features an interesting looking menu that includes pulled pork, jacket potatoes and chicken wings. And apparently you don't need to die in battle to eat there, so that's a bonus. Vikings is an impressive and well-considered addition to Drayton Manor, which offers something for all the family, with Loki being the standout attraction. There's a nice clean aesthetic and the atmosphere is enhanced by the whimsical oldie worldy music. I also love the decked seating area next to the lake, which offers a nice spot to relax and take in some lovely views. This new land is a definite positive step forward from Drayton Manor, which is great to see, especially off the back of the well-received Adventure Cove, which opened last summer. And while I'm aware there has been some concern over the new logo and the closure of thrill lies like Pandemonium and Apocalypse, the park is clearly in a much better place than it was two years ago. And based on recent developments such as Vikings, there is plenty of encouragement for the future. Have you visited Drayton Manor to check out Vikings? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.